dragging me the fuck out here, you son of a bitch. Gotta figure something else out here. Fuck. It's making me fucking sweat out here. It's making me fucking sweat. We're gonna get you in there. God, you're such a fat moo moo fuck. I can't fucking believe how fat you are. You're a fucking slippery one, aren't you? Oh my god. Oh not. Fucking you are such a fat fucking piece of shit. Oh. Better start digging another fucking hole. Hey, digging another fucking hole. It's about to rain. Hurry up. Fuck this guy. Yeah, he fucking spit in my face. Fuck oh, this dude. What? Hey.
asshole! <laughs> I never thought it was gonna be you. Why don't you just come out, we'll talk about this. <laughs> oh, fuck.
Hello? Who's this? Uh, okay, hold on. Sheriff? Hey, Tom. You, uh, you want to come inside for a cup of coffee? No, that's all right. Why don't you just tell me where you think these gunshots came from? Well, it was one shot, actually. I don't know, maybe a quarter mile north of my drive? Now, Thomas, you know that north of your drive is out of my jurisdiction. Look, you're my sheriff. I called the Cape Girardeau Police Department. They might show up tomorrow morning. All right. So this is about one gunshot in the middle of the night on a country road? It wasn't kids. Thomas, you don't seem like the skittish type. What's going on? Frank called me from Cairo this morning. And? Well, he wouldn't say anything about what he was doing. Just that he was close and wanted to give me a call and he was thinking about me. Is there nothing else you want to tell me about this gunshot in the middle of the night on a country road? Thomas? He seemed worried. Anything else? Nope. Just that I'm a little skittish. Yeah, well now I'm a little skittish too. up in here, man. Unidentified white male, hands Hands sawed off at the wrist. Looks like one initial shot to the face, possibly a shotgun. Looks like several additional gunshots to the torso. Smaller caliber, not definitely not the shotgun. Hey, just wait up. Stay back there. What'd you find? What do you got there? Thomas, you need to go on back to the house. What'd you 
fine, man. What's so important about a goddamn lighter? Thomas, you need to go on back to the house. I gotta call KPD in on this anyway. An officer will be out here. They'll come up to the house. I just need to go on back home. What's so important about a goddamn lighter? It's my boy's lighter. I gave it to him. Somebody killed my boy. Thomas? Somebody killed my boy! God damn it, Eddie. God. No! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Mrs. Banks. Yeah. No, no, it's a bust out here. Absolutely no one. No. Now where's this at? Fuck. All right, I'm on my way. Thomas Lloyd, this is Detective Banks from the Cape Girardeau Police Department. Detective Banks, Mr. Lloyd. Sheriff Apple explained to me about the lighter, and I want to say right off that a lighter is not enough evidence to identify a body. So I want you to keep <clears throat> yeah, that well, in mind. Frank would never give up that lighter. So if that fellow down there isn't him, Frank is more than likely dead. Now why would you assume that would be the case? If he's not, it's... You didn't tell him about Frank? We don't know that it's Frank. Is there something about this mess that I need to know about? His son has a record. Okay, uh, Mr. Lloyd, I need to ask you a couple of questions, and I hope you understand it's just part of my job. Different questions? Well, if you mean different than what Sheriff Apple asked you, probably not. Okay, I'm up at the house. I'm about okay, to sleep okay. hold, in my hold easy. Hold on just a second, Mr. Lloyd. I, I need to get this in detail. We have to do things by the book in the city. You know, I, I'll tell you what. I uh, I think the sheriff's questions will do. You fellas come in.
Mr. Banks! Here's what we got. A fine tooth saw was used on the wrist, but we still don't have the hands. Shotgun, close range, right under the chin. There's bruising along the rib cage, along the thighs, and the forearm. It looks defensive. Small knife wound right above the third rib. And then there's four small caliber wounds scattered, different angles. Still waiting for ballistics, but if you ask me, it was uh, probably a nine millimeter. There's nothing else? If you turn the page, there's another blood type around the face. There's oil residue, motor oil on one side of his face, on the other side of his clothes. Now, the guy that found him, uh, Thomas Lloyd, thinks it might be his son, Frank, because of the lighter. Well, I don't know if that guy in there is Frank Lloyd, but the last guy to touch that lighter was Frank Lloyd. Perfect thumbprint. The easy match. Doesn't look good for Tom, does it? Are you? This makes it local. So what's the next step? We need the hands. Our hand. One will do. Oh, you're welcome. Thomas, it's Sheriff Apple. Uh, sorry I have to leave a message, but uh, well, I'm heading out to your place. Should be there in about an hour. I'll see you then. Uh, bye. It's almost nine o'clock. I can fix you something if you want. Eggs. I'll try to make it back for lunch. Hello, Thomas. It's Danny. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. I'm out at your house. It's about 1030. Look, I think I got some bad news for you, and I, uh, well, just give me a call as soon as you get this, all right? Bye.
Hey, it's Apple. Look, I got a VIN number I need you to check out for me. Hey, you ready? 1G6KE53LO2U15 3210. Yeah, all right, you can get back to me. All right. Spoke to Tom Lloyd yet? About what? Fuck it. A little tack goes a long way, brother. Fuck him. Now he'll answer my questions if I need answers. You better bring the best. Just tell me about Frank Lloyd. Frank Lloyd was a pain in my ass. The relationship was more official than personal. Just a bad seed. What else you got? What else you need? God damn it, Banks. I'm not just some hick from Mayberry, okay? You're burning bridges. Right. Detective Stevens, Carroll PD. They had an issue down there yesterday. Two vehicles went north. They're trying to get Makes on them right now. They maybe came this way. Now, this morning, two blue collars down at the rail yard walked up on a cold execution style mess. That victim was from Carroll, but we don't have any vehicles. I thought there was something missing. It's a phone. If I didn't have this, they'd be calling the house. Oh, now I understand. You understand what I'm dealing with. Now that would be something. What you're dealing with. How many times have I sat through dinner staring at an empty chair? How many holidays? Saturday nights? How many times have I sat through dinner listening to you talk on the phone? Oh, really? I've got to take this. Hold on. No, no, I'm free. I'm free. Go ahead. No, it wasn't strip. You're just missing the plates, but it's definitely your black 2003 Cadillac. 
Yeah, it was registered to an Albert Williams of Thebes. We've called a couple times with no answer, so I'm on my way over there now. And Detective, look, it's less than 20 minutes from where I'm at. I'm just going to knock. I'll knock. It's just a courtesy call. I'm not playing on any cross jurisdiction. No, listen. Hold on. No, you listen. I'll be in Thebes in 20 minutes and out of your damn state in 20 more. Detective Stevens? No hard feelings. I think neither of us is so precious. <laughs> Amen, brother. Well, it looks like Albert Williams, but I'm going to have to get down in there to be sure. The others in the barn? Yep. Did you check the house? It's him. Slit his throat. Shit. I've never actually seen that before. So how do you know him? Uh, he was a lawyer. Has an office in Cairo. Partners with Robert Foose. Foose and Williams. I wonder where Foose is at. I called his office on the way up. He's been in Chicago all day. He's actually on a train. He'll be back home tonight. How late? Uh, past my bedtime. I'll see him in the morning. What time? I'll be there at 9 if you'd like to meet me. So what kind of law did Foose and Williams practice? Tax. <laughs> I guess we got our motive now, huh? Calvary's on the way if you want to take off. All right. Tomorrow then? Yeah, tomorrow. Just do me a favor and pile that stuff up here for me. No shit, when? <laughs> of all the stupid luck. All right. All right, talk to you. Good news? We found a hand. Oh. Thomas, I gotta get going. What'd you wanna talk to me about? I just thought, I, hell, I don't know, I, I just, I thought I'd try to explain some of the reasons why Frank... Thomas, you got nothing to explain to me. Except that car parked at the bottom of your hill. How's that? I'm not so naive, Thomas. I won't ask you about something you can't tell me. Matter of fact, I don't want to know. But I will tell you this, Thomas. Honest to God, don't fuck with me.
I don't know how Collins is going to get a print. Three fingers got some good meat on them. You get your Blu ray and flat screen. What you see is what I got. So, is there a big yellow X on your door when you got home? As everybody knows. Yeah. Neighbors were calling in saying, What's well, happened to Sheriff Apple's house? What's going on? Well, tell the tale. Mrs. Sternberger's at home, making lunch in her kitchen. Fido walks in through the doggy door with a hand. He drops it on the ground. Mrs. Sternberger accidentally steps on it, looks down and sees the hand. Starts screaming and carrying on. Then Fido rethinks the whole affair and carries the hand outside, puts it under the porch. And Mrs. Dernberger calls me, so I come out there and me and Fido discuss the whole matter. Oh, oh son of a bitch! And then me and Fido come to a friendly agreement. You know, trade the old hand for a piece of a new one. Well, did Fido tell you where he found the hand? No. To tell you the truth, Fido ain't got a lot going on upstairs. Well, me and Cheryl will make the spare bedroom up until you get settled in. Nah, no need for that. I'm going to head on down to Carroll tonight. Right. I'll drop this off at Colin's house. He loves it when I interrupt his dinner. Yeah. Hop up. We'll have the room ready for you anyway. Bill Johnson called for you a couple times yesterday. He's got your cell. Bill Johnson? Yeah. I don't know any Bill Johnson. Did you ask him what he wants? No. It seemed like he knew you. Give him a call, find out what he needs. Very old story. But started on your wedding night. You put a bean in the jar every time you have sex. Then on your first anniversary, you start taking a bean out of the jar when you have sex. You'll die with beans in your jar. Just saying. You probably got all the beans out of your jar you're gonna get. Just call me if you get a print. It'll be late morning or lunch before we get anything. It's not like we got more than one handless body around here. I wasn't saying anything bad about Maggie. It's just, it's just another way of looking at it. I didn't mean it as an insult. Foose and William. Okay, hold a minute. Albert's wife is on the phone again. And she sounds hysterical. You want me to tell her you're in court? Ah, uh, no, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Thanks, though. Hey, Marcia. How are you? No, like I said before, I haven't heard from him since Tuesday night. Yeah, well, I gotta drop some documents off later this afternoon, so I guess I gotta run out to Thebes after that. I know, Marsha. We'll find him. What was it this time? She wants me to go out to their house, check and see if Albert's there. She done went out of town and lost her man. Hey, she's pretty worried. She should be worried. She's gonna spice herself up a little bit. Hey, I need those uh, Marconi papers soon. I gotta deliver them before noon, okay? 
Okay, boss. Cops are here. Morning, Jamie. This is Sheriff Apple from Whitewater, Missouri. Um, hey, guys. You got to take the uh, Marconi papers in by 12, so it looks like you got about three hours before you can catch me. Yeah, I'm not here about that. Uh, Robert, this is Sheriff Apple. Apple from Whitewater. Missouri. Ah, oh, you're a long way from home, Sheriff. I'm the one that found your partner's car. It was abandoned on a farm in Whitewater. We think it might be connected to the crime. The murder. Wait. Why, why would Albert be in Missouri and, and what murder? You haven't told them yet? It's, it's complicated. Told us what? Jamie. Told us what? The detective and I went up to... The, the, the sheriff and I went to Albert's house yesterday, and we, uh, we, we found him. Um, and? Albert was dead. Murdered. Oh, my God. I tried contacting his wife, but I haven't had any luck. Yeah, she's out of town visiting her mother. She, she'll be back. Oh, my God. She'll Are be you back able tonight. to reach her? Yeah, I can, uh, I'll let her know, or I'll call her, or whatever, yeah. Oh, my God. Let her know she needs to call us, okay? Okay. I just have a few questions, and then we'll be out of here. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, Tuesday night, I think. His wife had just left, and my wife and I, we took him out for dinner. What time was dinner over? I don't know, about 8, maybe. My wife left, and we sat at the bar for maybe an hour. Shit, he left around nine. Do you know if Albert had any enemies? Anyone that would want him dead? No, not that I know of. Bill Johnson? Who? Bill Johnson, he... Jamie, hold on. Yeah, Bill has done some contractor work around town now for a while. Kind of a quiet guy this until is, he this did a, a job idea. for Albert. What job? Albert paid him, like... All right, stop. Look, Sheriff, we don't need the third degree here, all right? Come on, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell's going on here, all right? What's this about? The mob. The mob. The mob. Bill Johnson's in the mob. No, no. Look, I don't have the mob in my town. People talk. Oh, yeah? What are they saying? It's a stopover. It's close to Memphis, but still in Illinois. It's in between Chicago and Memphis. And it doesn't help that Anthony Marconi has lawyers here. Marconi? From Chicago, Marconi? Who's his lawyers? Hey, whoa, 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 look. Hey, I just do his taxes, man. I don't know what else he's into. You don't know what else he's into? I do his taxes. <laughs> right. So what does this have to do with Bill Johnson? Albert thought he might be connected. Connected? Yeah. So we told him his services were no longer needed. Let him go. And it was a big mess. They saw him fighting all over town. And Bill was constantly coming by and calling. I got pretty scared. This sounds like this Bill Johnson's a prime suspect. You questioned him yet? Looking for him. Yes, okay, so you're looking for him. Good. Now, can you please leave? Hey. Really, we don't need any more questions here, Sheriff. Hey, I'm just doing my job, guy. Yeah, but you also might be putting us in danger. Did you ever think of that?
All right, here goes. Albert Williams finds out about the connection between <clears throat> Bill Johnson and Marconi, so he fires him. He hires a new guy, Frank Lloyd. Good. Board's a little wet, not cutting very well. What's up? Yeah, well, uh, why don't you take a few minutes, uh, go up to the house, give me those plans off the kitchen table. You do that? Alright. What are you doing here? I think we got something to discuss. Really? Yeah. I think we're done talking. I need to know how you found out about me. Yeah, fuck you. Now, this idea of contract work sounds bogus to me. I can't figure a couple of connected guys from Chicago are just hired hands on a farm. Well, how did Albert find out about Bill's connection? Somebody must have talked, and Bill knew it. So that's when he called Nick Barnes and Johnny Tuck to come help. Yeah. Yeah, you and Johnny. There's a guy here named Frank Lloyd. Yeah, we do know him. He's got to be the blabbermouth. Matter of fact, just go ahead and bring some tools. And we know from the evidence that most likely Nick did the interrogation. <sighs> That's it. I only told Albert. I thought he could help me get out if, if he knew what we were up against. Right, so why the two bodies in Cape? The way you put it, everything was taken care of in the barn. Uh, Bill kills Frank and they get it all cleaned up in time to go get some lunch. You see, that's what I don't get. I mean, Frank must have offered Bill something. Uh, something that would make him kill Nick and then drive all the way to Cape. I just can't figure out what it is. Wait! Uh, Find out you can't make good on this shit, you wish you'd cut your uh, fucking head off. Hop on in the fucking trunk. Get the fuck in there! Think I'm playing a fucking game? Get the fuck in the trunk! Death can be slow or fucking fast, boy! So what happened in Cape? The only thing I can think is that Frank leads Bill out to his dad's place. It must have been where he was keeping whatever it was he was going to give him. Or maybe he thought uh, his dad could protect him. No. No, I don't think Frank would put his dad in danger like that. Okay, so what we need to figure out is if Bill got what he came for or not. And if not, he's probably still in Cape looking for it. And Frank's dad is still in danger. Right. Yeah, from what I can oh, figure. Look who it is. Let's talk about this another time. I really don't want to discuss it in front of them. I don't know. Looks like they're doing all right. Hey, guys. Find anything? Nope. Just going over a few things. Sheriff Apple here wanted to get something neat before he went back home. Sheriff, I, I really do want to apologize about earlier. No, look, I understand you were just doing your job. Look, you just found out about your partner and friend. I understand. Early lunch? Well, we were uh, going through some of Albert's old cases, trying to get everything in order, and you know how it is. Got to get out of the office. Hello? Really, where? All right, I'll be there in about 35 minutes. Gotta go. My deputy just found your second car. Management, open up. 
Credit card's been declined. Open the door. You're gonna get sniffed on the... Oh! No! Jamie! 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 Robert? Robert Foose, attorney at law. Take out in a sleazy motel room. <sighs> Jamie? Jamie, I'm 100% sure you're in there. Say hello. Hello. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen, Jamie. I'm gonna have a little talk with Robert out here. You need to stay in there now, okay? Do I need to tell you why? Jamie. Right. Tell me where you put Carl's files or I'll kill Jamie. You understand I'll kill you too, right? After I kill Jamie in front of you, I'll then kill you. Huh. Or, uh... Maybe you'd like to find out what happened to your partner. If I didn't get it, I'd kill you both. So, Robert, again, where are the files? All right. To Albert's farm. In the Lincoln.
Williams? Listen to me. People are going to be coming here soon. They're going to be looking for this file. And when they don't find it, they're going to be very, very upset. You need to leave now. Just get out of my house! Mr. Williams, I'm just trying get to... Get out! Don't pack. Don't wait for anything. Get in your car and leave. Believe it or not, Miss Williams, of all your husband's associates, I'm one of the nicer ones. Oh, no. Leave a message? How about answering your damn phone? You called me. Was it Frank Lloyd's hand? Can't confirm it. Or was it Frank Lloyd's hand? I didn't say that. Can't confirm a match. Been waiting to hear from the FBI. About what? You need to get a regular eight hours. Since I got nothing, I need to see the FBI gets nothing. Hell, it could be a damn terrorist for all I know. I'd throw you for a loop, wouldn't it? The hand belonged to the body we found? Yep. Probably Frank Lloyd. Hear about Maggie Apple and that crime scene tape? Yep. Probably had long time issues with that name. Maggie Apple. Maggie Apple. That just didn't sound right. You've got to admit that crime scene tape was a nice touch. There was a burglary yesterday on North Oak Drive. Broad daylight. It's a bunch of high-end stereo equipment. Officer shows, speaks to the neighbors, and gets a possible and unusual suspect. Goes to the suspect's house and sees the shit uncovered in a pickup truck still sitting in the driveway. Hadn't unloaded it, didn't even throw a blanket on it. And I need to know that why. I mean, it, maybe it's small potatoes, but busting idiots like that? You really feel like you're doing something for your community. Well, you get this Bill Johnson character and you'll feel just fine. Tell you the truth, I just wish this devil would go away. Meeting this Bill... Hold on. Just say. What? No. 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 I sent it to the FBI. Really? Well, don't touch anything. Don't even walk up to it. No. I couldn't do it. Anyway, he's right here with me, listening. All right, I, I can do that. I'll do it. Bye. What you got? Apple's found, Apple's found the car just south of the bridge, all bloodied up. I'm going to go up and give that tram scene a, a once-over. Then I'm going to call the FBI. He's got a master's in criminology. He was recruited by the FBI. I know it. He knows what he's doing. I know.
sheriff. Yeah. You better get here before the vultures take over. What? Oh, all right. Hey, Sheriff. Well, the other hand turned up at the Durenberger's house, kind of partially together in a plastic bag. We could probably get a print off it. The other hand? Yeah, yeah a local's dog found the first one. Uh, Detective Stevens, this is my deputy, Pat James. Pleased to meet you. Anyway, check this out. Right there. Yeah. What do you want to bet? What? You got a phone number for Bill Johnson? Yeah. I'm trying to call him all day. He's not answering. I got a hunch. Right. Just give me the number. When was the last time Bill called into the office? Wednesday. A couple times. What you got? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I got the wrong number. What is it? Chicago office of the FBI. Why don't you grab an evidence bag out of my truck, get this phone bagged up. Right. You waiting on an invitation? You know, you didn't have to sit on your perch up there. It's your town. You guys screw something up, you can't pin it on me. Right. You better call your boys about the car. Collins already called the FBI. Now it is their gig now. We also found another hand. Collins is gonna take it back with him. We found something else. You think you can find out whose phone this is? Now you want my help. Look, you know I can get this done just as easily as you can, all right? Your people get it done faster. All right, Please. calm down. Well, Johnson, you think this is his? You think he's in town? I don't know. Well, thanks. All right. Oh, hey, I mailed over those bureau photos. There's a good surveillance shot of Bill Johnson. Hold on a minute. I really think we should go. I don't know. I've known Thomas a long time. He would have given me a sign. He would have tipped me off somehow. Bill Johnson drove out to that farm. He dropped a car and a body. And you're telling me he didn't go by the house before or after? Maybe the car and the body was his way of stopping by. OK, but why? No, something went down. Thomas is involved, or he's a co-conspirator, or he's a stupid innocent being forced to pay for his son. You ask me, if Thomas Lloyd is still breathing, Bill Johnson still has work to do. I'll drive. Oh, 
Lord help us. Not what we expected? No, it's something else. We're gonna have to make a stop on the way. Um, I hear water heaters, once they start having problems, can be real um, issues, uh, trouble. It can be real trouble. I, I rent a condo. Yeah. No hot water? Call the landlord. <laughs> Have you ever been to Cairo? Excuse me, please. Oh, sure. <sighs> Give me just a minute. Yeah. Here, it's Banks. Talk to him. I don't have time to talk on the phone right now. See what he's got. Still can't get any goddamn service. Can't even send a text. This is bullshit. I haven't had reception for an hour. Piece of shit. You know, not having a police radio is fine if you got guaranteed mobile service. I don't want to have to leave and come back when it's dark. Who else you got besides your deputy? Banks knows we're here, but if we need help, it ain't coming. No, Banks doesn't know we're here. Your phone was dead. I didn't talk to him. I don't need any help. Hey. I got your back. Due west, about 200 yards, just follow the sun. You'll come out in the vineyard and have a straight shot to the back of the house. Sure. Come up here and forgot what you had to say? Excuse me. What, you're not gonna invite me in? What the hell? God damn it, Thomas. Where's he at? Where's who at?
It's always something, ain't it? Kind of like seeing a ghost, huh? You ain't really gonna shoot me, are you? I mean, technically I'm already dead. Very slowly, put the gun on the floor. Now look, this guy was a bad seed. Put the gun on the goddamn floor. Detective Stevens was a dirty son of a bitch. Frank, if you don't put that gun on the fucking floor, I'm gonna blow your head off. Danny, lower your gun. Stop pointing that gun at my boy, Danny. Good to see you, Sheriff. Let's chat. Sorry. Thanks, Pop. Yeah. So who shot this FBI agent, this Carl Sloan? That would be Johnny Tuck. I thought Carl had died on the drive across the river. Just a man doing his job. We had enough in common. We might have been friends. There's a file. You gotta find it. Will. We will. There's a page. <laughs> I can get rid of it. You call them whenever you find it. And Frank? Yeah. Once you get that file, you don't stop running. The only way that Frank gets out of this is with that file. That agent's reports are the only evidence we've got that Frank is on the up and up. <laughs> up and up. So you're just gonna leave this file with me? Look, first of all, I'm paying for my pastor, right? I'm just doing it outside of prison. And second of all, yeah, what it takes Stevens to find me? 24 hours? We're talking to the Chicago mob here, Apple. Now look, you're about the most honest guy I've ever met. That might not mean shit to you, but it means a hell of a lot to me. I want you to take the file, take it back into town. By the time you call anybody, I'll be long gone. Won't be coming back. So you're just gonna leave your dad with this dead detective from Carroll on his deck? All you gotta do is tell the truth. That bastard's name's on just about every page in that file. You drive through Carroll, you drop something off to Detective Stevens. Dirtier than any shit I've ever seen in Chicago. So Carl Sloan was your friend? Yeah. Thomas, you expecting somebody? No, we're not. Now come on back inside, Danny. Hold on. I'm Sheriff Apple from Whitewater. Can I help you guys? We're just looking for the Lloyd.
I'm gonna go check on it. Keep him back. Detective Banks, shots fired, shots fired, any backup? Okay, here, I'm on here. All right. Oh, you got a plan? We need a... Uh, here's what you're gonna do. Take the sheriff down to the vineyard and hide there. You can take him out one at a time. Then I don't think I can get you down there. That's why I'm staying here. What? No. Frank! No, no, Frank, no, you no. do as I said. I can give you cover here. If I try to go with you, I'll only slow you down and we'll all die. Now go! Now! Can you move? <laughs> Never mind. I'm okay. They went down to the vineyard. Two of us and three of them. Two of us? Sheriff Apple and my boy Frank. Yeah. I tell you what, Tom. I got backup coming with an ambulance. You hang in there, you'll be okay. Yeah. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit, Frank. Uh. Come on now. Come on. Born on this hill and now I'm gonna die on this hill. Don't say that. I fucked up. I try. You're gonna make it. You gotta get the file to the FBI. Tell Dad I love him. Tell him I tried to make things right. You're gonna be all right, Frank. Hold on. Hold on.
You know you should be proud. I know. Forty different arrests. I know. Pulled Marconi out of his favorite Chicago restaurant. Still had his napkin in his collar. <laughs> Memphis through Cairo all the way to Chicago. Clean sweep. We had some rough years. I can't say it didn't ruin his mother's health. Lots of valleys, I know. But I'll tell you this. What he did meant he had something good in his soul. I mean, his heart was good. Always. I always thought that. If you need help with something, you need to head back to the doctor. That arm's a little stiff and can't drive. Just let me know. Well, if you're not in a hurry, maybe we take a little drive down through the vineyard. You bet. Just down there. <laughs>